In the next video, we will create crude operations for the product. However, in this video, I want to talk about HTML. So in Laravel 4, there used to be a package that was pre-installed with Laravel, and you could use that package for your HTML. In Laravel 5, that package is not pre-installed anymore. The reason is because there are a lot of front-end JavaScript frameworks that developers can use, but we can still use that package. And I want to show you uh, that package that was in Laravel 4. So let me go to the documentation of Laravel 4. And at the left side, we have this forms and HTML. Uh, this option is not available in Laravel 5 documentation. And down here now, you can see all the options that you can find for the forms and for the inputs. So what I will do is to go to this website, Laravel Collective, and find the way to install this package. So the first thing that we have to do is to, is to include this line of code inside my composer.json. So I will open composer.json, and inside require, we can include this line of code. The next step now is to update my composer. So I will open a new CMD, and I will go to my project folder, and inside there, I can say composer update. You have to wait a bit for the update to complete. And in my case, I have already done it, so I will stop it. But in your case, you have to wait for it to, to be completed. After you update your composer, you have to add this line inside your providers. And you can find the providers in your config app.php. So let me go to the providers, add that line of code, and then now still in the app.php, we have to add the aliases for the form and for the HTML. So back to this file, and below there, we can have these two lines of code. So pretty much now we have everything needed for the package to work. And you can use this same way, this same process, to install your own packages or to install packages that you need for your development. So I will go to my contact page and here now I will have the old HTML way on how to create a text box and the way that you can create a text box with this package. So input type text is the old way. The new way now is this. And inside here we can say form text and as you can see, we have a couple of options available to us, so we can play with this. For example, I can give this a name, price, and for the moment I will not have a value, and also I will not have an additional options. I will save this, and I will go to the contact page, and we can see the result from there. You can clearly see that we have two text boxes, and if I open my, open, my page source, you can see that it is pretty much the same thing. However, with this way, with this package, we also include the name by default. Why? Well, because we already have a name here. So if I delete this and I save and reload again, you can see that this is not working anymore. So you have to include the name no matter what. It might take you a bit of time to understand this package. However, there is a great documentation for this and you can still use the documentation that is available now and uh, have a look to all the options that we have available. In case you do not want to use this package and you just want to build something small, then I have already included a trick inside uh, the website laraveltricks.com and you can see how you can use the old HTML way without crashing anything with Laravel 5 because you will have errors if you just use HTML5. Uh, and the error includes uh, includes this, the doc, uh, the token mismatch exception. So you will you will encounter this error no matter what if you use the old HTML way. In order now to avoid this, I will use this package for all the next videos, including the crude operations. I will just have a couple of examples here so you can take a look to the options that you have available. So let me create now again a text box. However, this time I want to have some additional information there. So as you can see, we can have a name for this. So I will give this a name, price, and we can also give this a value if you want. I can give the price $50. Now the options can be an array. So I will open this, the brackets there, and below this, I can have a couple of options. 
the options can be this it can be a class and you can give a class for this for example form control you can also do something like a placeholder and we can give we can say here uh, give a price and you can have any kind of uh, another option that you that you might need for your development and of course you need to know HTML in order to understand these options so what I will do now is to delete this line of code and save again and reload the page so we can see now the new result as you see we have a value that is inside which is $50 and if I delete this we have the placeholder which says give a price so this is a much better way to use for your HTML rather than using the you know usual HTML code if we go to the documentation we can see all the available options that you have for example you can generate a number or you can have a date an input for the file a drop down etc and I can actually have another example for the number so back to my code I will open again the, uh, the brackets with the exclamation marks which is the opening and the closing tags and here I will say for number and here now we can give a name for this level and a value for example 10 so I will save this back to my code reload and now we have this number here and we can uh, have a couple of options for example we can go and play around with this if you want to have a minimum and a maximum value because this goes to minus something and plus something so if you have if you want to have a couple of limits then you can say this for the options you can have max and min and this is again from HTML so the maximum value will be 20 and the minimum value we can set this to minus 5. I can save this again, reload the page and you can see here that if I go down we can go up to minus 5 and if I go up we can go up to 20. The documentation now is very clear to understand on how to use this package so you can go through this documentation and have a look at the options that you have available. In the next video I will create crude operations for the product that we have available right here.